Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel for this week's toolbox safety topic video. Before we get started, make sure that you give me a thumbs up down below here to encourage me to make more videos of this type. And if you'd like to see future videos, make sure that you give me a tap on the subscribe button. So whenever I release a new video, it'll, it'll be, you'll receive notifications. Well, let's get started today. I'd like to talk about an important aspect of construction safety that often goes unnoticed, yet it plays a pivotal role in ensuring the well-being of workers on job sites across the nation. I'm talking about OSHA's Focus 4, a set of four hazardous categories that consistently contribute to the majority of construction-related fatalities. As we explore each of these areas, I'll provide insight into their definitions and share some sobering statistics that highlight the urgency of addressing these risks. Let's start with the first of the focus four, falls. Fall hazards are alarmingly prevalent in the construction industry, posing a significant threat to the workforce. Whether it's from elevated surfaces, roofs, or scaffolding, or even on the same level, falls consistently account for a substantial portion of construction fatalities. In fact, recent statistics indicate that falls contribute to around 33% of all construction-related fatalities. It's a staggering figure, underscoring the critical need for comprehensive fall protection measures on construction sites. Moving on to the second focus four, struck by hazards. This encompasses incidents where workers are struck by an object or equipment. This could be anything from falling tools, materials, or vehicles colliding with workers. The statistics are disheartening. Struck by incidents make up approximately 11% of construction fatalities. That's a significant portion, and it emphasizes the importance of implementing measures to secure tools, establish exclusion zones, and enforce strict safety protocols to prevent these tragic events. Next up is caught in or between hazards, which involve situations where workers can become trapped or crushed by equipment, materials, or structures. Trench collapses, caught in machinery, are being compressed between objects fall under this category. The statistics reveal that caught in or between incidents account for approximately 5% of construction fatalities. While this may seem lower than some other categories, it's crucial to recognize the severity of each incident and implement stringent safety protocols to mitigate these risks effectively. And finally, we arrive at the fourth focus four category, electrical hazards. Given the extensive use of electrical equipment on construction sites, the risk associated with electrical hazards are ever present. Electrocutions and electric shock incidents contribute to roughly 8% of construction fatalities. This statistic underscores the importance of proper training, equipment maintenance, and adherence to safety guidelines when working with or around electrical systems. In reflecting on these statistics, it's evidence that the focus four are not just theoretical risks, but harsh realities that demand our attention and concerted effort to mitigate. To tackle these challenges, construction companies must prioritize comprehensive safety training programs, enforce strict adherence to safety protocols, and continuously evaluate and improve safety measures on their job sites. Additionally, technological advances such as the development of innovative safety equipment and monitoring systems can play a crucial role in reducing the incidence of Focus 4 related incidents. Embracing these advancements demonstrates a commitment to the well-being of the workforce and reinforces a culture of safety within the construction industry. In conclusion, the Focus 4 are not just categories on a checklist, but 
represent the core areas where lives are at stake every day on construction sites. By understanding these hazards, acknowledging the associated statistics, and proactively implementing robust safety measures, we can work towards a future where construction sites are not only productive, but more importantly, safe environments for all workers involved. It's time for a collective commitment to building a safer, more secure construction industry for generations to come. All right, every week, every day, uh, somebody falls, somebody's struck by, somebody's caught in between, or somebody's electrocuted. These are the focus for the, the four highest uh, fatality related uh, things that go on in construction. If we just focus on those four, as the name suggests, and train everybody accordingly for those hazards, then the reduction in fatalities would be significantly reduced. So take the time during your toolbox safety topic to cover those four subjects. Check my video playlist. I've got several videos on each of these. You can use those uh, for your toolbox uh, safety topic meeting. Just make sure that you have a sign in sheet. Show when and where you watch the video, the job site, uh, middle class Bubba YouTube channel, uh, uh, and then give the name of the video and have everybody sign and that becomes part of the documentation that's required to prove that uh, your company does regular safety training uh, for its employees. Anyway, anyway, thanks for stopping by and thanks for watching. Make sure that you give me a thumbs up down below here to encourage me to make more videos of this type. Also subscribe to the channel where you will be notified of any uh, new videos that come out. Anyway, that's it for today. Uh, look out for yourself because you're number one. Look out for your co-workers and help ensure their safety. And have a grateful day, and we'll see you in the next one.